Good morning, everyone. It's 5 to 7 a.m. Sun isn't quite out of the friggin' up in the sky yet, but you will be shortly. And we are on our way to southeast of Esteban, Saskatchewan. My windows are really dirty again but hey they don't get dirty if you're sitting around doing nothing right there's the load you can see it in the mirror I don't know we we're running what the heck have we got on here we're running about 5,000 5,500 pounds And yes, we are missing some of the product, but uh, I can't help that. If the product doesn't show up on the truck or if it's not shipped properly, then I can't pick it up. Well, I could if they would tell us where it was coming from and I would just go right there and get it if somebody was willing to pay that fee. So anyways, yeah, we are on our way so let's make this happen, this delivery happen, and get this one done. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi right, guys, check this one out. For anybody that lives out here in this neck of the woods, where I'm at here at Capel slash Indian Head, east of Regina, Saskatchewan area, for anybody that's traveled these roads any, they are gonna know that 35 highway was one nasty friggin road to drive on anyway I think they're gonna convert this sucker into a gravel road pavements all stripped off I've been on uh, going th this is the whole thing so far has been a construction zone they're packing they're they're uh, grading here's another set of packers they're rolling it They've actually widened it out a little bit just by pushing dirt down into the shoulder more. But I can almost guarantee that they're going to friggin' make this a friggin' uh, grid road. If they pave this, I'll be amazed. Because I don't think the base is here that they would actually try paving it again. Oh, look at this. Here we go. We're back into the rough stuff. Oh, shit. So they only went about six fucking seven miles. They should do the whole damn thing all the way to 48 Highway, which is about 20 miles. Oh, well. The first part will be nice. That'll, that's for sure. So, anyway, just thought I'd point that out to everybody. 35 is getting a facelift, at least part of it, so talk to you guys later alrighty guys well sorry about the wind but we're here I don't know if you can tell or not but if you take this road right here and you follow it it goes down into a big valley and that's where the bridge is out and they're building a new one and that's what all this product is for is the railing for that bridge so I finally got a hold of the guy as to uh, where I was supposed to be going didn't really have any good instructions other than south of Estevan, so I came south of Estevan, ended up at the border, had to turn around at the border, and then worked my way backwards, and I saw an orange sign down the grid road, and I just figured, okay, that's got to be it, because the road wasn't marked, and uh, lo and behold, I got lucky. How's that sound? So here we are. Everything's here. So we're going to unstrap her and wait for the guys to get over here with a loader of some sort to offload all this stuff. Let's get to her. She's quite the country down here in the valley. But you know, you get up on top and it's just big, flat, open country. And all of a sudden you'll come across this a little valley, just like this. Somebody has some kind of a crawl system down there in the bottom. I seen a bull down there on the one corner, but there's the site. 
right down there at the bottom. I'm not going to walk all the way to the bottom. I'm not sure how they're going to get that loader to this side if there's a a pathway to bring it around or not, but I'm assuming there's some kind of a pathway. Heck of a bridge. Looks like nothing more than a creek. But regardless. Anyway, that's what the country looks like down in the valley, guys. We'll catch you guys in a little bit once we're unloaded and heading for home. We might be back to picking bales, hauling bales. But if I am, we'll be hauling bales for uh, for the neighbor. He's eager to get his straw bales hauled home. So we'll talk to you guys later. Well, there goes load, load number one, guys. I'm just giving him some hand motions. And then he could take off with her. So we'll work at uh, getting the rest of these off. And life will be good. And it's head for head back for home. Uh, so anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty, so there. Everything is unloaded and back there with those guys now. Anyways, we're gonna head the hell for home. That friggin' wind can piss right off. I don't know why it had to pick up again, but they're calling for showers for later this afternoon and into tonight now. That's what I heard on the radio, so let's make this happen and get the hell home. Well, how about this one? You guys saw me on here this morning. They're really putting the gravel to her, backing her up building it up and I did stop and talk to one of the guys and they says yep they are definitely going to be uh, putting pavement back down on here they're hoping next towards the end of next week they'll be here a paving crew will come in and pave this I told them well Christ you guys should be going the friggin other 15 miles all the way to the 48 the guy just laughed and says yeah we agree but highways doesn't want to pay to go all the way bastards anyways talk to you later well here we are guys <clears throat> this is load number two for us already uh, hauling bales for the neighbor not even hauling bales for myself just hauling for the neighbor at this point actually I'm gonna move this one and put it on the other side He came over and, because he doesn't have a round bale spear for his skid steer, and he's unloading with skid steer. So, he just, he was trying to unload with uh, pallet forks. And I suppose maybe those would work okay, but for this straw, they weren't working out very good. So, anyways, we, uh, told him to come over and grab our round bale spear so he, uh, he came and grabbed it and then we took off he went home to get it on his skid steer which is a case model ours is bobcat you guys know that and uh, how many are bales are out here one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. Anyways, so yeah, he came out, grabbed the spear, and he went home with it to get it on his machine, and we came to get load number two. How's that sound? Mm, so, I have no idea how many bales are out here. We'll find out when we're done. How's that sound? Mm, so, not charging huge dollars for this charging uh, five buck a bale and it's about nine and a half miles one way to get him to his place so I think that's a pretty good deal no you guys tell me what do you think 
Anyway, we're gonna get these loaded and we'll come back and talk to you later. Okay, well, he's not doing exactly what I asked him to do, which was drive in, grab this bale, and then give it a push and push the bale off the other side, but now he's gonna push them off this side. <laughs> ah, that's okay. It all works. Mm, so, but we'll get these bales off and then I'm gonna run home and we'll grab one more load and I'll get it back here hopefully before it's dark because you're not allowed to haul bales on these roads in the dark. If a cop catches me hauling bales in the dark, then I get in deep shit, so because we're over wide and so on and so forth, right? But anyways, this is what we're doing. We'll make it happen, get her done. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, well it's the last load for me for today. Uh, it's 6.30, she's getting dark. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is getting dark. And what is it about people on gravel roads? You know, I got a friggin' job to do. I'm doing it. And we're under the gun. It's kind of raining. And I'm trying to get this job done before it gets too tacky. And I got to put my truck in 4x4. Four four. And you got people doing friggin' 50 kilometers an hour Sunday afternoon sightseers. Piss me off. It ain't Sunday yet. It's Saturday evening. It's when all the hot rodders should be out. Anyway, it's my last load. The wife took the tractor home from the field and I'm taking the load to the destination to get it unloaded. So, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can lose a friggin' bale because this load, there's a couple of bales on here that are pretty friggin' soft. Like half the twine is missing. They're hanging on there, but Jesus, Murphy, not by a hell of a lot. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Later. Bye.